Yeah. Alright, so what are you driving? Let me hear you. What are you driving now? What is this? Coyote. Coyote. Naturally aspirated engine. Okay. Who was the chief engineer? And it was the body was designed by a Bosnian Serb who was called Kamal Kurek. A Bosnian Serb? Yeah. Kamal. Not American? No. Oh. He was uh, chosen from their Ford plant in Germany mm -hmm. to come up with three designs for Ford. They liked his work, I assume. And he went over to Michigan. Right. And Kamal sat down and he kind of thought about all the basics that were a Mustang and all the lines and one of them was the haunches at the back and the lines that flowed from the back to the uh, front. And the, the lines have so a combination did, of new and old. Yeah, so he did a, what he was concerned about was the pinched aspect of it. So you get these pinched lines. Okay. They retain the tri bar um, rear tail lights. And Kamal did a lot of work on it and he basically did three designs and Ford rejected two and kept one. And they ended up with this for the 2015. It took a lot of effort actually. They had Doyle Letts and he was a. Um, he did a lot of boat block design interiors. Mm -hmm. he, Right. And he got involved with the interior. Right. And Boyle Letson, he did he was in charge of the interior design and the instrumentation panel. Right. And they, 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 they did it purely um, copied the to make it look aeronautical. Go next time, man. So Doyle kind of put little visual cues and put strange things like ground speed which makes it kind of I suppose aeronautical and they did they copy the eyebrow um, symmetry so that they both have a symmetrical it, it, it kind of looks like a boot kind of boot I understand the, uh, that yeah, cockpit he was really from the sort of maritime industry right a, uh, what, what's his name again Doyle Letson Doyle Letson yeah, okay he did the interior Kamal Kurek, he did the exterior mm. um, and worked take, in take a, sit down there, sit down inside. And Dave, David Pirisak, he was in charge of the overall engineering. There was another guy called Thompson, he um, was also involved in the, he was a chief engineer. Right. Um, and they kind of worked very hard at it. And it's it's, it's with beautiful but simple, nothing yeah, claustrophobic. You've got, you got your various modes. Mm -hmm. I call them bad, badder and baddest. <laughs> Let me, which, show me bad. Well the bad is, is basically the various modes that, that you yeah. have. Just turn it. Oh yes, I hear you that. hear the sound of the, you've got uh, different modes you can actually, the gauge mode, so you can go over to there and you can get the different well, like, temperatures. Well, let me come around, hold on. Still in the head temperature. This is an interesting one, the inlet air temperature. That rises, falls, if you're in traffic, it rises. But the cooler it is, right. the more efficient and the more power, more power you get from your engine. Right. So when I put in the cold air intake, that the stock, the box, the stock exhaust box mm -hmm. was absorbing all the heat from the engine. So right, you've got right. this hot air all the time. So of course it now with the cold air intake, it's, it, it's Pulling in, drawing in cooler air. Right. This is complicated. I mean, who wants to know about oil pressure? You know, <laughs> oil temperature, really? You know, transmission oil temp, really? So that's so you've got the gauge mode, and you've got the track apps. Is it manual? Is it Tiptronic? Is it what is it? Yeah, file a shifter. It's it, yeah. It's got these little things that I haven't really fiddled with. I don't play with them actually. I, yeah, actually, they are quite fun. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is this actually a manual vehicle? Minus and plus. 
Yeah. So, that's so you've, got, you've got various track apps that yeah. you can use. You've got Line Lock, which um, if you want to basically lock your front wheel and right. burn rubber, <laughs> I'm not into that. <laughs> and you've got, you know, I don't really follow all of that. And driver assist, well, you got auto engine off and the rear parkade. Yeah. It's um, kind of simple, really. I don't think there's anything. Hey, so that's that's the kind of said again, huh? She songs. She's... That's the baller exhaust system. It's the attack baller exhaust system. It's a very aggressive. Paid attention to how it it's rumbles. Songs, There's yeah. a sort of throb to it. It's got a lot of space in the interior in the rear, which is yeah. strange. Yeah. A lot of space First one, yeah. Yeah. But it's in, interior is very selfish. And you have it. This is the this shaker is system, which is all the big boom box. <laughs> playing, playing American rock music. <laughs> You, you added anything you added for it? Well, this, I felt this was, it was too bland. Right. To me, it's rolling art. This is from uh, Mustang in the US. Right. So I bought, I bought this from the US. Right. And all of these are from also the US and go with the Mustang, which is the tr original tribal. Right, right. And that's a Coyote V8, five liter. The thing with the right-hand drive, because there's a different configuration of the headers, because the way it's configured, the way the headers come out to accommodate the right-hand drive, mm. it has put some restriction on the horsepower. So where you're getting 500, sorry, 436, mm -hmm. you're probably only getting about 416, something like that. Oh, okay, because of the, the, the because position. Of the, Bends they had to take to, to know, make it a ride. Oh, okay. Ride. What, what you said you did on so the wheels? What I did on the wheels now, I put on spacers and I put push push them out by 20 millimeters. But you, you're using the same rim. The same rim. Right. You just put on a spacer and a, a, a wider tire. And a wider tire, and you bring it bring bring out the tires on either side, the spacers, the 20 right. millimeter spacers on either side, and 20 on the front. Right. And then I went a bit further and bought these wheel arches. Oh, okay, nice. Which gives it a really fat yeah, look. I, yeah, I'm more aggressive. And then I put in a splitter, and I put in the Outlaw front nose spoiler. <laughs> you, I, you, This bit is interesting. When I bought it, um, Ford actually had this just nailed on to the, to the bumper. And I thought it looked so cheap. Yeah. So a friend of mine in the UK who has a uh, Mustang, right. he bought his in the UK. I, he uh, sent this down for me, and it fits. It is the actual plinth for the Euro Mustang. Right, right, right. So I bought that. And I love this. I love this. I love this. Yeah, well, that's the Coyote. I love this. That's yeah, the five-liter Coyote engine. That is. That and is. So good. all of this copies the Ford. I saw a Ford in the in the UK Ford Performance, and I right. thought I like the graphics. Right. So I um, bought the graphics in the UK. So all this here, all this, all of that, yeah. Nice. I like this I, I like fade this system. This is a fade, right? And a solid. Yes, a solid, and this it goes back to a fade a, again. And a solid, yeah, yeah. This is nice. And she is very nice to drive. I put in Roush scoops. This is the Ellen scoop. Yeah, Ellen. This is from the 1969 Mustang. This emblem. You, you stick to some details? Or? Yeah, I, I kind of like the 1969 look. Right, right. So I added this. I thought it needed, you know, some more personality. You've got to remember that, it, you know, a Mustang is rolling art. You know, it's not just a bland car. It's, it's, it's an American. It's, it should be. It's rolling art. It's gregarious and, and it's rolling art. So you put chrome on, you know, you can get away with it because it's an aggressive car. It's not a 
Not, not a conservative car either. No, why should she? <laughs> and my daughter named her Millie. Millie? So her name is Millie. My son doesn't like her very much. Santa Rosa. My daughter <laughs> loves horse riding, so right. we go to Santa Rosa where she has a horse. Okay. And How old is she? She's 14, right? She's 14. She loves horses. So she loves sitting in this. This is her car. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't see that already. So when I go to heaven, it'll be hers. That. My son's not interested in it. Funny, isn't it? What, what he likes? iPad. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? 12. Oh. <laughs> Daddy, this is so boring. Please. But I change also. I must say, I mean, they're really, they're funny people, really. You know, they, they some of the detail looked cheap mm. in the bonnet. They had a, a, um, a sort of rod that keeps the... Are, are these original Brembo's I'm seeing here? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the rotor, what size? That was 15, 16, 15? 14? Oh, it's big, it's huge. Yeah. What size are they running on? 19? 255, 40s, 90. Nice. Nice. Back and front? No. no. Back. Back is 295, 40s. 285. 285, is it? 40. 285. 285, yeah. They're hard to get. Very hard to get for some unknown reason. And I put on this scoop. This is on the scoop of the rear grill. Yeah. I quite like the it's nice. aggressiveness of this. It's nice, it's really nice. And I got the Mustang this guy does this beautiful um, airbrush work and he put on the detail of the Yeah. This was done specifically for it. Custom, if you know what I mean. So what's your name? Yeah, give My me name a... is Jeremy Knott. Uh -huh. And you're driving a? And I'm driving a Mustang 2017 S550 made in Michigan. All made? All American made. And she's loud, she's aggressive, and she is a beauty to drive. Can we, can we hear the song of her? Yeah. Noxious exhaust. <laughs> but beautiful. Yeah, Alright, nice. Jeremy, nice meeting you. Thank you. We'll talk again. Yes.